why should we vote for you and not for him? I would submit to you that uh, the world is becoming a more dangerous place almost by the day. We have major problems that are facing American families, businesses, particularly small business in America, particularly family farmers. We have an assault, steady assault on our liberty. We need to get, I love your phrase, get things done, okay? I mean, Washington has been kind of a running argument for too long. We fought our way through that when we were in the White House and we had a Republican House and a Republican Senate. We passed historic tax relief, we passed regulatory reform, uh, we passed historic investments in our national defense. But for me, what, what, what I think calls my wife and I to this moment is I think that my experience as your Vice President, as a governor that understands the vital and important role that states and federalism plays in our national life, and as someone who served in the Congress and knows how you get things done in Congress, I honestly think the weight of our experience, I'm uniquely qualified to meet this moment, to get this country turned around, to restore our security, restore our prosperity, and you give me a chance to be your president, I promise you will prove that to be true. Yes, ma'am. I don't want to make anyone mad, but I think we need an honest president. I think you're going to be. Thank you. You're very kind. You're very kind. How about I don't want to turn my back on everybody here. Anybody got anything back here?